Proxima B, from distant candidate to tangible world. Proxima B has long been one of the most talked about exoplanets. It's nearly the same size as Earth and sits in the so-called habitable zone where conditions could in theory allow liquid water to exist. Until now, it was just numbers on a page. Mass, distance, orbital speed, speculative atmospheric models. But today, for the first time, it's an actual image. The light web capture didn't come from reflected starlight in visible wavelengths. Instead, it was the planet's own heat detected in infrared, a subtle but decisive confirmation that we are seeing the world itself, not just inferring its existence from its gravitational tug on its star or the slight dimming during a transit. This is no longer a point on a chart or a clever guess. It's a real place. And this image tells us something profound, that our tools have become powerful enough to directly observe other worlds. And not just any world, but one that might, just might, be like our own. For decades, astronomers have tried to find planets like Earth, places with the right mass, size, temperature, and distance from their star to support liquid water and maybe even life. Proxima b has always been among the top candidates. It's close, astronomically speaking, which makes it easier to study. Its mass and radius suggest it's a rocky world rather than a gas giant, and its orbit places it within the habitable zone of its cool, dim red dwarf star. But until now, all of this was inferred. We knew its mass from how it pulled on its star. We knew its orbit by how it affected the star's light, but we couldn't actually see it. Then came the James Webb Space Telescope, revolutionizing our view of the cosmos. Using its powerful infrared instruments, Webb managed to do what had never been done before, block out the blinding light of Proxima Centauri itself and isolate the tiny signal of heat coming from the planet beside it. Over weeks of careful observation, the telescope gathered enough data to build the clearest image yet of Proxima b. It wasn't just a blurry dot anymore. For the first time, we could make out signs of temperature variation across its surface. We saw evidence that one side of the planet likely stays in perpetual daylight, while the other remains in endless night, a clue that it's tidally locked to its star. Even more remarkable was the absence of a thick, permanent cloud layer like that of Venus. Instead, the way light was reflected suggested a rocky surface, solid ground, perhaps with dust or bare rock exposed to space. This detail alone was huge. It told scientists that Proxima b isn't just theoretically Earth-like in size and orbit, but likely has a real solid surface where, under the right conditions, liquid water could flow. This isn't just another space photo. It's a milestone, changing how we see our universe and our place within it. Proxima b is no longer just a curiosity in an astronomical database. It's a real place with light and shadow, heat and cold. Scientists don't know yet if there's life there or if there ever was. But for the first time, they can look at the planet and say, we've actually seen it. That in itself is history in the making. Let's zoom out for a moment to consider the star that Proxima b orbits. Proxima Centauri is not just any star. It's the closest star to our own sun, part of the Alpha Centauri system, a trinary star system that has captured humanity's imagination for generations. While Alpha Centauri A and B are bright enough to see with the naked eye from the southern hemisphere, Proxima Centauri is far dimmer, a small, cool red dwarf invisible without a telescope. Yet, it's the one with the most intriguing planet. Proxima B orbits its star incredibly closely. So close, in fact, that it completes a full orbit in just 11.2 Earth days. That's much tighter than Mercury's orbit around the Sun. But because Proxima Centauri is so much cooler and dimmer than our Sun, this tight orbit actually places the planet within the so-called habitable zone, the region where a planet could in theory maintain liquid water on its surface. It gets about the same overall energy as Earth does, balancing its proximity to the star's lower luminosity. But it's not that simple. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are notoriously active, prone to violent stellar flares that hurl bursts of radiation into space. Proxima b likely experiences levels of radiation hundreds of times stronger than Earth does from the Sun. If the planet lacks a strong magnetic field or sufficiently thick atmosphere, those flares could strip it bare, blasting away any protection and rendering its surface hostile to life as we know it. That threat doesn't make Proxima b uninteresting. It makes it fascinating. It's a real nearby laboratory for studying the challenges of planetary habitability. Because Proxima b is so close to us, we can study it more thoroughly than almost any other exoplanet. With every new observation, we're learning more. We now know it's rocky not a gas giant. We know its size, its orbit, its likely surface conditions. And now, thanks to James Webb, 
we have a sense of what it actually looks like. A world with real heat patterns, real surfaces reflecting light, not just theoretical models. All of this was made possible by the technology of the James Webb Space Telescope. Unlike traditional telescopes that rely on visible light, Webb specializes in infrared, the heat glow of objects across the universe. This lets it see through cosmic dust and, critically, separate the faint glow of planets from the overpowering glare of their stars. Using advanced instruments like NIR-CAM and MIRI, Webb didn't just take a single snapshot. Instead, it painstakingly collected tiny amounts of light over weeks, stacking data to reveal what was previously lost in noise. In Proxima B.S. case, that meant pulling its feeble heat signature out from behind the much brighter light of Proxima Centauri. The result was not just a simple image, but a detailed measurement of the planet's temperature differences, surface reflectivity, and possible atmospheric retention. Webb even observed that the planet is probably tightly locked, with one side facing its star in perpetual daylight while the other remains shrouded in night. This dynamic means that while one hemisphere may be scorched, the other could be frigid. But in the twilight zone between, conditions might be more temperate and stable, perhaps even suitable for life. Another tantalizing clue from Webb's data is the possibility, still debated, of an atmosphere. The heat on the planet doesn't seem to vanish instantly from the dayside, suggesting there might be some thin layer of air redistributing that energy. An atmosphere would be critical, not just for stabilizing climate, but for shielding the surface from deadly radiation and perhaps even allowing water to exist. Scientists are also scanning the data for even more subtle signs, heat from volcanic activity, or even artificial lights on the night side. Evidence, however faint, of technological life. Nothing of that sort has been seen yet. But the fact that we can even ask these questions speaks to how far our capabilities have advanced. Now that we've seen Proxima b, scientists are dissecting every pixel of Webb's data to learn more about its true nature. The surface reflectivity suggests rock and dust rather than ice or gas. Its thermal profile tells us about the interplay of stellar heat and possible atmospheric retention. Even subtle color variations in the infrared data give hints about surface composition, texture, and mineralogy. This isn't just guesswork anymore. It's direct measurement, turning what was once a ghost in the data into a place with its own landscape, climate, and potential for harboring life. In the end, Proxima b is not perfect. It may be blasted by stellar flares and stripped of its atmosphere. It may be dry, cold, or sterile. But it is real. It's nearby. And it's possible. For humanity, it's the best shot we have at finding another Earth-like world in our cosmic backyard. This single image from the James Webb Space Telescope is far more than a technical achievement. It's a profound shift in perspective. It reminds us that the universe is not just abstract numbers and theoretical possibilities, but a collection of real, tangible worlds waiting to be explored. Proxima b is no longer a distant mystery. It is, for the first time, a place, and that changes everything. This discovery also redefines our sense of cosmic neighborhood. For centuries, the stars were distant, unreachable lights in the sky, and planets around other suns were the stuff of speculation and fantasy. Now, with Webb's precision, we're turning those fantasies into maps. Proxima b is just over four light years away, practically next door on the cosmic scale, and it's no longer an abstract goal for future explorers, but a real target for planning. Future telescopes and missions will refine these observations, perhaps even detect atmospheric composition directly, sniffing for water vapor, oxygen, methane, or other potential biosignatures. The dream of one day sending robotic probes or even crewed missions using technologies still on the drawing board feels slightly less impossible when you can see your destination. Webb's image of Proxima b doesn't just tell us about that one planet. It invites us to imagine a future where the stars are not so distant after all. It opens a door, not just to a world, but to a new era of exploration where we no longer rely solely on mathematical inference or indirect observation. With this image, astronomy steps into a new frontier, exoplanet cartography. No longer content with detecting planetary wobbles or shadows during transits, we are now beginning to sketch outlines, detect temperature gradients, and sense atmospheric clues. Every byte of data from Webb's observation is a building block in constructing a more detailed picture of Proxima b, and potentially of other rocky exoplanets orbiting nearby stars. The implications ripple far beyond one planet. If we can do this with Proxima b, we can repeat this technique with other close targets like TRAPPIST-1e or LHS-1140b, assembling a catalogue of actual images of potentially habitable exoplanets. Moreover, 
this discovery helps refine our definition of habitable. It's no longer just about orbiting in the Goldilocks zone. Habitability involves complex interactions, magnetic fields, atmospheric chemistry, surface composition, geological activity, and energy balance between day and night hemispheres. Proxima B forces us to consider how life might evolve in harsh environments, enduring high radiation or existing in twilight belts where temperatures might be stable. If such a world can exist with even a sliver of potential, then it suggests life may be more resilient, more adaptable than previously imagined. There's also a philosophical transformation underway. For millennia, humans looked up and wondered if there was anyone else out there, if Earth was alone in its capacity to host life. Now, with infrared imaging and high-resolution spectroscopy, we're no longer confined to wondering. We're beginning to test, to search with instruments sensitive enough to detect the glow of a distant world surface. It brings the cosmos into sharper focus and makes the unimaginable, tangible. Proxima b is not only a planetary neighbor but a mirror held up to our own world, reminding us